musician Deboho Sitatu joins us now. Uh, Deboho, thank you so much uh, for your time. Of course, this is a difficult time, you know. I mean, this is a young woman who came onto the scene in 2011 and blew us away with her debut album, uh, you know, Uloliwe. What's your reaction? I mean, I could imagine it was just <sighs> one of a devastation you when know, you heard the news. Yeah, you know, like I was saying earlier on that we should stop meeting like this. <laughs> I mean, we keep... Uh, meeting because of mm. we uh, somebody has passed on in the music industry but um, you know as I was relating to you somehow she was my sister mm. because we shared uh, um, you know I remember we were performing as the twins when Saudi I know some people don't like him but it's fine uh, <laughs> when, we were <laughs> when we were performing at Orlando Stadium and my brother and I and the other twins of Atlanta, we kept on hearing mustard 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 mm. and uh, my, wi my, my wife wasn't there neither was my brother's mm. wife and when I turned around it was Zahara. I didn't even know that we were actually related uh, f from a clan perspective. Mm. But um, she was an amazing talent. Uh, South Africa knows that. And uh, I woke up to the news as we were actually preparing and planning for a prayer session nationally. We were actually waiting on the broadcaster to, to give us a venue on mm. that. But be it as it may, uh, it's a sad loss, uh, untimely so. And um, uh, for me, uh, we were going to intercede uh, to pray. I hear other people say, perhaps you should continue to pray, but mm -hmm. we wanted to pray to stop her from dying. Mm. Uh, and, and now what would be the purpose of prayer? Because I believe, as a believer, when people die this young, uh, it's not God's will. It's the devil stealing these beautiful young lives away from us. God doesn't kill. Mm. God blesses. Mm. I mean, as you said earlier, you, you know, you, you called her, or she was known, yes, and Master. a lot of people yeah. don't know that as yes. must have to, a yeah. lot of people, of, of course, knew her fondly as Zahara. Yes. Um, that was, of course, her stage name. I mean, this was a young soul, as you've also said, who's touched a lot of lives. Uh, I remember seeing one interview where um, she was actually asked by a podcaster, how would you want to be remembered? Mm. And she said, as the woman next door, I want if somebody is even staying in a shack or in formal settlement to refer to me as a woman next door. Mm. Even if you're staying in your mansion, <coughs> refer me to as a woman next door because my music ultimately is what I want to be remembered for. Absolutely. I mean, that is touching, and she had a lot <coughs> to give, as you said. Yeah, absolutely. And I remember I visited her once at her house. Uh, she's always been, you know, she was a bubbly person, mm. happy to go lucky person, always happy, um, you know. And uh, I probably sat in her house for about an, over an hour. It was the first time, and the last time I actually visited her uh, close pr mm. uh, proximity. But um, we shared that at least it's, it's, it's how I would remember her, uh, besides remembering her as my sister, my other sister, and a colleague in the music industry. But I always say, <coughs> you know, this must raise the question again. Mm -hmm. and, and, and people will say, no, you're always talking politics. No. The questions I was referring to the last time, we still need to answer them uh, in terms of royalties. I know this is not the time and moment, mm -hmm. but uh, guess what? After three months down the line, everybody goes on with their lives. Everybody has kind of forgotten what happened. So we need to make sure that people don't go and pass on in vain. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. And I mean, you raise a, an important point <coughs> because this was a, a young woman oh. who won seven <coughs> South African Music Awards uh, for a solo act, something that wasn't seen in, in a long time and in one night. She also went on to won, win many other, you know, local and international awards. So she, she meant something. Let's go back to oh. when she first entered the scene. I mean, her sound <coughs> was distinct. Um, I remember a lot of people saying, you know, our South African um, India Ari, you know, with oh, her guitar. Tracy Chapman. Tracy Chapman <laughs> yeah. with her guitar. Just talk to us about those earlier those earlier days and her commitment mm. to her craft. Yeah, I actually <coughs> didn't know her at the time, mm. but I just had Lonely will blow so much and everybody was talking about it, even people uh, who were abroad. Mm. And yet I, I'm in the music industry, but I just saw this bubbly young woman just blowing up like that right in front of us and everybody talking about it. So she was special. Mm. She, she was distinct, as you say. She was a disruptor. <laughs> uh, so, and I mean a positive one, uh, so to speak. So she, she was amazing, mm -hmm. special talent that it will take many years for us to see mm -hmm. another talent such as hers come through mm -hmm. the, the industry. You know, there's a lot of questions around should oh. musicians, should artists, 
you know, portray the times of today oh. in their craft. And one of the things that she did, you know, she obviously spoke out a lot about oh. domestic violence oh. because she was also a subject <coughs> of it. Oh. Um, is that through her music, um, she kind of healed the nation. You know, there's so many songs I can reference, or Pendula, oh. that touched so many people. What is it about that, that um, we, d we now obviously uh, are so grateful to her for her music. What is it about that that is so important that, you know, artists need to honor what is currently happening in society today? Um, music's purpose, main purpose, is not to entertain. <clears throat> it's to be the voice of the voiceless. Entertainment is part of it. Yeah. <clears throat> so she did that very well. I, I remember the song that she did with Mzwake uh, uh, for the, the late Nelson Mandela when he passed on. Um, it's, it, 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 it was amazing. So uh, it's all her works. So I think artists should remember that to say, how do I use my voice to better the lives of others? Mm. Mm. It's very important. Mm. Uh, and now, I mean, of course, uh, we can't not speak about um, just some of the reasons that she was in hospital. Of course, oh. a lot of people talking about um, the fact that so many musicians die young before oh. the age of 40. I mean, they're referencing the likes of uh, the greats of Alib Matosa, Brenda Farsi, and mm. the likes. I mean, she died of um, <coughs> after battling with, with uh, substance abuse and, and so forth. Uh, you know, we, we've heard of alcohol and, and so on. How is it important? How much is it important? and that you know um, we speak about things like that of course sometimes the timing may not be mm. perfect mm. but this is probably a time also to reference you know the lessons yeah. in terms of <coughs> the life of a person uh, absolutely um, I think there's no better time to talk about mm. these things uh, they may be difficult to talk about yeah. but uh, they are the truth and we need to confront them and deal with them the issues about royalties mm. the issues about uh, uh, drugs and substance abuse mm. the issues about uh, gpv uh, look i was just listening to the radio um, there's a report that just came out um, this, uh, there's more than 100 shippings and taverns in deep Sloot. it's one of the highest crime spots mm. in Gauteng. What, uh, so if, um, the report says uh, alcohol and drugs uh, substances are uh, a big influencer to why there's so much high rate of crime. Mm. So we need to deal with these things. Uh, artists need to be supported. It's a very difficult industry to be in and uh, nobody should be judged. Um, uh, and and uh, uh, you know, like she was going through a lot and she battled with that. So all she needed was that support uh, and unfortunately a little too late. And mm. that is why when I even proposed the prayer, I said, guys, as industry, we always come back and say condolences. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Mm. But then three months down the line, we've forgotten. Mm. So uh, one of our friends in the industry had posted on Facebook to say, let's, uh, we are, let's pray for Sahara as a nation. Mm. I said, that's an announcement. Good. But in me, it has ignited an important thing. Announcing a prayer and praying are two different things. Mm. So let's pray. Mm. We were planning, as I was saying, a prayer to intercede. Mm. So I'm saying uh, drugs and substance abuse are a big issue, just as much as uh, GBV. But we're not, they're not being taken seriously mm. uh, enough. Mm. I mean, uh, we need to deal with that. Look at our young people mm. across the nation, how they become zombies because of uh, Nyaupe and all the other substances. Mm. So we need to deal with that. So, I mean, uh, sports, arts and culture, Minister Zizi Kwadwa also obviously offering his uh, condolence and saying that government uh, had been assisting the family uh, for some time in as far as, um, you know, uh, Zahara <coughs> is concerned in terms of uh, her illness and her being <coughs> in hospital. What role should the ministry play um, in as far as this department is concerned, particularly um, where musicians are concerned. In fact, in, in the whole space, you know, um, I, I know they came under fire, particularly during COVID time, but what role do you think is the ministry for? Um, the minister should not be reactive. And I also want to say, <coughs> unfortunately, we, were, we, we just missed it. We were reactive. We are always are as industry. So this is not a time to point f uh, fingers at anybody. However, I think they can be much more proactive. I mean, you know, the previous minister uh, was under fire for being called Minister of Condolences. I hope ZZ doesn't want to be remembered as such. So he should be much more proactively involved and perhaps the timing uh, to be more involved and engaged before the, even the problems escalate to a level where we actually, uh, somebody can pay the ultimate price. However, we need to work together. 
as different stakeholders uh, to to solve. It's not a problem that can be sorted out only by the minister or by government. Or but government support is important, as as as, as equally important as the industry support. Uh, however, you know there's a stigma attached to all these things, mm. so most people don't come out when these things uh, they go through these things. But us, as we know them, we need to be supportive and bring on every help that we can into mm. the life of mm. a person.